Hello everyone, hello again from another comparison video. This time we're showing it on 4K and with more visible FPS counter on the side. I have showed my system and FPS on the previous video too, but many people were still asking for my system and FPS on the comments. This time I made them more visible so you can't miss it. Here is my system and the graphics card patch I'm currently using. Since the last comparison video, I added few more RAMs, so I'll be having more FPS with higher graphic options. This is the graphic options I will be using for this video. It is on the best appearance, so everything is on ultra settings. I use these settings for both DirectX 11 on and off. To enable DirectX 11, you have to go through your options, graphic options, check this box, and restart your game. Let's see the armors first. The most obvious thing you'll notice with DirectX 11 on is how light is rendered. With DX11 off, shadows and lights looks harsher on armors. For example, on this one, check the shoulder piece, the shadow on the left one is a lot worse. You'll see light is rendered better on the right one on her skirt on this one. Here, especially, the light rendering on leather is really different and it looks much smoother with the X11 on. People are still reporting crashes and problems with the X11 enabled, so problems are not fully resolved, especially for Windows 7 users. Enabling the X11 messes with their UI, so if you are using Windows 7 or below, I do not recommend you use it. DPS add-on still doesn't work with DX11 and crash issues with World vs World seems better because in the past people would report it would crash every 5 minutes. Now there are some reports on forums it goes without crash for half an hour to an hour but I still wouldn't use it because it's such a pain catching your group in World vs World so crash would kill the fun. Not gonna lie. I don't really play World vs World, so you can let other World vs World players know how DX11 is working for you in the comments below. For rates. It is the same, still not stable, we had some players using the X11, they had to disable it to not to crash on every boss, it's such a hassle. I've used DX11 myself on open world content, FPS still doesn't get better on mass multiplayer events like world bosses, but I didn't have any particular crash issues either, and visuals are much better, so when you're chilling doing open world content, enabling DX11 is still an option. If you would like to be updated with the end of Dragon's content, learn raids, learn how to make gold and enjoy Guild Wars 2 fashion, I highly recommend for you to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.